Hi, Sam Lin from Boston, Massachusetts. I had the pleasure of discussing the paper entitled Beyond the Signature, Informed Consent from a Legal Perspective and Its Implications for Plastic Surgery by Shaheen, Lane, and Chung. The paper does a good job in explaining and highlighting the complexity of the informed consent process. This is inherently difficult when attempting to develop standards for which a field that is mired with such heterogeneity. In addition to variations in the electiveness and complexity of the surgical care of the patient, there is variation in patient patients that must be addressed in the informed consent process. The paper talks about interferences in age, institutionalization, and medical and mental comorbidities. However, variations in educational level, language, cultural norms, for instance, the head of the household makes all the decisions, can also impact significantly the consent process. Even if community standards would be and could be developed, they would likely not be satisfactory. Thus, while it is a good goal, the most important aspect of this paper is a summary of the components of the informed consent process. Just as we need to break down medicine into lay terms for patients, this helps break down the legal requirements into terms physicians can understand. Focus on the key components of the process, communication, relationships, reiteration, and documentation. This paper's figures emphasize the role of documentation. While this is crucial in litigation, there is a question of whether documentation actually corresponds with comprehension. Consent should not be a piece of paper, but instead a conversation. One point already addressed in the paper, a patient signature ultimately demonstrates that the patient signed the document and not that its contents were understood. One point to ponder, is there a role of artificial intelligence or AI in assessing patient understanding and providing standardized tests of comprehension to help buttress documentation of satisfactory disclosure? Or is there any way for AI to be used for language barriers and or to adjust documents based on reading level? A second point, is there a risk to over-disclosure beyond time constraints? And lastly, going back to the point of standardization, every case that starts with a recitation of facts in that case, not a discussion of the legal precedent, which often indicates the importance of individual circumstances. Indeed, communication and the effectiveness of communication and comprehension and retention from the patient is absolutely key in every circumstance. Thanks very much. Thank you.